Honda puts all their eggs in the Jetson basket, but will it pay off? Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard-hitting, pull no punches, and sugar cutting and the rainbows. The sunshine, just going to give it to you, give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off the moto industry. Why you ask? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you because nobody else will. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in moto history. Get, set, get, get centered and surrounded with like-minded people, iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some moto iron today, my friends. Welcome to the show. Now, listen, Honda spent a ton of money getting Jetson on board, and then they added even Brother Hunter. Hey, Jetson, guess what? We're going to put Hunter on the team, too. We're going to put Red Bull on his helmet, too. We're going to hook you guys all up. Even your family that don't race, everybody gets free bikes. Free bikes for everybody. And Chase, sorry, man, but it's all about Jetson. Hey, we want to thank you for the 450 championship that we haven't had in 20 years. We paid Kenny to bring it, but he decided to go race World Supercross, so we fired him, and actually, you're on your way out now because you weren't willing to sell donuts. Jetson's our guy. Whew. Honda's backed themselves into a little bit of a corner, and I'll tell you why. You're, we're going to reveal here in a second. We asked it on the channel, like, who's winning the outdoor opener? Is it Jetson? Is it Chase? Is it Frenchie? Is it someone else? Who's winning? Who's winning? Well, Honda's hoping it's Jetson, clearly, because they're paying Jetson more money than they're paying Chase. A lot more money. Oh, and by the way, like I said, they had to, had to have Hunter come along. I'm sure that if I'm the agent, I'm like, yeah, Jetson will go ahead and sign the deal, Honda. But we want uh, to keep the brothers together. And our PR team thinks it's going to be really good. Like, remember back in the, the day? The Alessi brothers and the Hill brothers. Hill brothers are big rage right now, too. We want the Lawrence brothers. This is all being ushered in. And by the way, we are going to need market share on the donut campaign because we're going borderline woke with Moto now. And I don't know if you guys have noticed we're ushering in electric bikes, donuts. It's getting all very woke out there. Those are the types of things now. That, that's why, for me, I give a lot of pushback to the industry. Because back in the day, go look up some old races, some old Supercross. Back when it was on the sp uh, Speed World, NBC Sports, all the heavy hitter networks. It was rad. Bubba, the Bubba, McGrath, Carmichael. That was the golden era, dude. It wasn't broke. It wasn't woke back then. Not even one speck. It was insane. It was insane. So anybody talking back in the day, these guys, these old guys want to talk about back in the day. That's because you guys are failing right now. Peacock? Peacock? I got to pay to play? Insanity. Sports ruined. Sports ruined, ruined, ruined. This thing's going for a big fat nosedive. Watch this thing play out. Oh, by the way, another recession is being ushered in. Not good. You're pushing mini uh, electric bikes, not even mini bikes. <laughs> electric bikes. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun, so exciting. Much better than punk rock chicks and freeze FMX, triple backflip, double backflip Pastron. Oh, yeah, this is way better. I, I'm digging these electric bikes, watching rich people let their kids, people in the industry, whatever, dude. Good luck with that. It ain't going to work. But Honda's back themselves in a little bit of a corner. And I'll tell you what, all their money's in the jet basket. Jet Chase, we already know, is gone, right? He just delivered the elusive 450 championship that we paid Kenny to bring, but we fired him because he wanted to go race, uh, committed to World Supercross, and we're trying to get a monopoly on this. You see, if you don't have free market capitalism in the industry, this is what happens. It fails. So as soon as they saw somebody threatening like, to take a little bite out of the apple to get in there and be a player, uh-uh, we're going to squash them. We're going to fire riders for going to Jetson. He wanted to go race World Supercross. Honda wouldn't let him. Somebody wouldn't let them. I think it's Honda. I don't mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll get out of the problem and the solution. But the realities are this. Chase is in the driver's seat. He's the one with the experience. He's got some confidence right now. Yeah, you know, he won the championship by default. But he got to be in it to win it. Whatever. It's an asterisk. Honda's, Honda's back into a serious corner right now. Because if, <laughs> if, if Sexton comes out and smokes Jack. Well, I mean, we'll be like, it's okay. I don't know. This one's going to be really interesting. We asked it here on the page. Who wins? The opener of the outdoors. Coming up. Any day now. Chase? Jet? Frenchie? Someone else? Who wins? Let's go ahead and reveal the results of that poll. And we're going to meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up and strap in. Hold on to your hats and your glasses. When asked on the Walty Wanders MX community page of the YouTube channel, who's going to win the outdoor opener at Paula? Chase? Maybe Jetson? No, maybe Frenchie? Maybe somebody else? Here's what you guys think. 
50% say Chase is going to win this thing. 36% of you said nope. Jetson and his donut push himself are going to get this one done. No, no, no. A lot of you said Frenchie, the fragile Frenchie Dylan Ferrandis. He's my guy. 8% are putting their money on Dylan, while 5% of you guys said it's going to be somebody else. Maybe Moosekin, maybe Adam, maybe Aaron. Who knows? The entire team field has been practically evaporated. It's anybody's guess, but right now it looks like Chase is leading the leaderboard on the predictions of who's going to win. But you never know. I know Honda's got all their eggs in the Jetson basket. Could this cause a little friction, a little drama at the semi-truck? Most likely it will. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, so there you go. That's what we got. You guys say Chase Sexton wins the opener. Then Jet and then Frenchie. And we're not even talking about the other Frenchie, Moosekin. I think Moosekin, you gotta, can't count him out. He's got tons of experience. And then there's just tons of other riders. Well, actually, there's not tons. There's barely anybody else because everybody's either jumping out of the series or like, I ain't racing it, or they're injured. There's like, I don't even know who else. Who else is going to be out there that could potentially steal a win? There's a few, but not as many as we had hoped. Industry in big, big trouble. But the realities are this. Honda's in bad shape because they're paying all their money to Jetson, but everybody thinks Chase is the one that's going to take it. It's a coin toss. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be exciting. I don't know how interested Chase is other than prize money because certainly why bring Honda another championship when they're ushering you out and you see all the marketing, the woke donut campaigns, which you should be thankful, Chase. Be lucky that you're not pushing donuts. Thank you for not pushing donuts, Chase. Jet, do something to get rid of the donut scene. I mean, it's just looking super woke right now, dude. And we can just tell now it's all one big marketing campaign. All your lip service when you get behind the TV camera now is just trying to be funny and get people. It's not working, dude. Just be yourself. You're getting eaten up by the industry right now. And it's going to spit you out and make you look like Kenny Rocks in here in a few years if you're not careful. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track, understanding the waters we're swimming in now. Shark infested. The industry's gone borderline woke thanks to the crisis. Ushered in all this craziness and they're watering down the industry. You guys say Chase is the probably who's going to win the opener over Jet. Who knows? All I know is this thing's going to get crazy and I'm going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact if you enjoyed me. this video, I think you're going to love the next video on your screen and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. I'll see you on the next video.